The new anti-obesity strategy is based on a better understanding of the adipose tissue biology, the scientific background, the white adipocyte stores lipids, the white adipocyte is spherical. A section shows that it contains a large lipid droplet, marked L, and a few mitochondria, marked M. The white adipocyte mitochondria, like those of other tissues, burn lipids to produce disposable energy as ATP. On the contrary, the brown adipocyte burns lipids. The brown adipocyte is spiky. A section shows that it contains small lipid droplets marked L and a large amount of mitochondria marked M. These mitochondria are unique because they burn lipids to produce heat. The brown adipocyte mitochondria produce heat because they contain in their inner membranes marked IN, a unique energy dissipating pore called uncoupling protein 1, UCP1. This pore, by uncoupling oxidative phosphorylations, drives the production of heat instead of ATP. Before 2008, it was generally admitted that, contrary to rodents, humans do not possess brown adipose tissue. What would life be like without active brown adipose tissue? The diagram shows, starting from food ingested in excess, via circulating lipids, fat accumulation in the white adipose tissue. This accumulation results in the swelling of the white adipocytes and in the development of obesity. What, on the contrary, would be life with active brown adipose tissue? The diagram shows, starting from food ingested in excess, via circulating lipids, energy dissipation in the brown adipose tissue. This energy dissipation prevents the development of obesity. The 2008 through 2009 breakthroughs. 2008, Breakthrough 1 Discovery of Brown Adipocyte Progenitors in Human Muscle These progenitors, clustered in the human muscle mass, might represent dormant precursors of thermogenic brown adipocytes. 2009, Breakthrough 2 Discovery of Brown Fat Depots in Human Subcutaneous Areas These depots, identified by PET scan, in particular around the neck, might represent dormant brown adipose organs. Energesis. Energesis intellectual property. The newly discovered muscle brown adipocyte progenitors are located in the muscle perivascular area. They belong to the green cell population detected by immunohistochemistry around the muscle vessels. The progenitors are purified from the muscle by cell sorting and seeded into a petri dish to be grown in culture. The progenitors are pushed by a specific cocktail to differentiate into brown adipocytes. Energesis Anti-Obesity Strategy Energesis targets cell culture system. Our progenitors are grown in the absence of differentiation cocktail. As expected, no brown adipocyte differentiation is observed. This cell model is used to identify a compound X, able to induce brown adipocyte differentiation in vitro and that might as well boost energy dissipation in vivo. High throughput screening. This approach consists in testing thousands of different compounds. These compounds will be added in triplicates on multiplates containing our cultured progenitors, compound 1, 2, 3, and so on. After a period of two weeks, a general screening of the multiplates will allow identifying among a vast majority of wells containing undifferentiated progenitors. 
one or several clusters of three plates containing differentiated mature brown adipocytes. The wells identified contain, for instance, compound number 1273. Is this compound a potential anti-obesity drug? Proof of concept. Obese mice receiving compound 1273 lose weight. Thus, in vitro screening of our progenitor cells and in vivo studies in mice would eventually allow identifying one or several compounds ready for clinical studies. It would be the first drug ever able, by increasing energy dissipation, to cause a weight loss and therefore to cure obesity. A brown adipose tissue booster in human would transform life without brown adipose tissue into life with active brown adipose tissue.